been treating me well. Uh, been going pretty good. Um, new staff is amazing. So I'm just excited for the upcoming season. It's been great. Um, you know, I came in June, so when I got here, everything was happening at a fast pace, you know, because right into the fall, we played uh, very early in week zero. So everything happened so fast. Now, you know, having a full year under my belt, um, I feel like the brotherhood of our team has been growing. And me personally, I've been coming a lot more closer with the guys and the new staff has just been great. So we've been, you know, building brotherhood as a team and stuff. Uh, the number one thing is he's been where I'm trying to go. Um, he's played the position I play. He's played at the highest level, did it for a long time at a high level. So that's the main thing is like, I just soak in everything he tells me and he keeps it real with me. And I really appreciate that from him. And um, he knows that I have dreams and aspirations of getting to where he's been and he knows what it takes to get there. So I'm just trying to soak in each and everything I can from him. Yes, very detailed, very de detailed. You can tell that he loves the game. He's very passionate about it. And um, it's something that he's you know, been doing for a long time. So I'm really blessed to have him, especially for my final year. So you know, I just, I'm really excited to be with him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't, you know, it planned this way, but you know, everything happens for a reason. God has a plan for each and everybody. So I'm just taking it and enjoying it and um, just trying to make the best of it. Yeah, it was. Um, I just felt that uh, I didn't do all I could do to give myself the best chance. I feel like I, had, I can come back and, you know, give myself a better chance to, you know, maybe go higher or, you know, even just, you know, more opportunity. So I said, why not just take advantage of it? me and my family? We sat down and it was like, you know, you got nothing to lose. So just give it all you got one last time and, you know, let the chips fall where they may. Uh, just my overall, you know, movement inside. Uh, I feel like I was very, you know, stationary a little bit. I didn't show that I could move, you know, in between tackles inside as much as like I would want to. So I know knowing Coach White's defense is a lot of movement up front. So I think it gives me a chance to show off my athleticism as a big guy and that I can move and, you know, make plays in the backfield and down the line. So just more opportunity for me. Uh, I've definitely gained a lot of muscle, muscle mass um, from the end of the season to now. I'm still trying to trim more body fat, more fat. Um, my per my idea of body weight is probably anywhere from 310, 315, or even 305. So that's where I want to be at. I'm not there yet, so that's my goal. Hopefully, you know, in the next couple of weeks, just get down. Right now, I'm in about 320. Uh, football is football, but one of the main things is just, you know, working on my first two steps, getting vertical, getting vertical penetration. That's something that is new to me. So that's been my number one thing, working on just getting vertical off the wall. You've been around a lot of college football, a lot of college football coaches. What's maybe distinct about Coach Rule and his staff that just sets them apart, good, bad, otherwise, from your others? I think the number one thing is that they all have a strong bond and relationship. Him and the whole staff are like me. They all been at several places together. And they all trust in him and trust in his plan and process. And as players, it's very, very encouraging to see that all the coaches are bought in to, and believe into what he, what he says and what he believes will make us a, a successful team. So it's very encouraging to see that how close they are, and they just make us more close as an uh, organization. Can you feel that as a player? Your coaches are really definitely, the same person. definitely. You can really feel it, and it's just very encouraging to know that. They all got each other back, so it's like for us, it's like why well, we can't have their backs as well. So it, I think it really brings us all closer together. You talked about mobility earlier. Is there, is there something distinct too about the strength and conditioning program with Coach Campbell uh, as, as far as like movement efficiency and sort of mobility and flexibility that you notice? Yeah, we do a lot of uh, regeneration days. Like, so like days like if we go hard for three or four days, we might have a regen day and just working on our flexibility and 
our mobility and that's been really helpful for all of us, you know, staying healthy and also just stretching our limbs out and just staying loose. Uh, you know, Brody just came over to us from tight end, so he's still learning everything as we're going. Blaze is a guy who's been in, you know, for a while now. Uh, he's still younger, you know, on the field wise, but he's been here for a while. So, uh, really, the main thing is just them, you know, just keep going, keep pushing. Uh, everybody, everybody's ready to work. Everybody wants to, you know, be successful. So, it's really as a leader, as an older guy, it's not really much mentoring that I have to do because everybody. It's hungry. Everybody wants to be great, so it's a really great feeling. Not, not really your position group, but what's your impression of the old growing up against those guys? How, how they They're definitely coming along very well. Uh, I will say one thing about our O line is that they are a brotherhood. They go everywhere together, and you don't just see one of them by yourself. You see they come, they go as a pack, and I think that definitely is something that you know keeps them strong. Appreciate it. Yep.